Let's talk about uh, a short that we did on a new feature. It was an iPhone feature. Uh, I just thought the reactions to it were fascinating and I feel like I ended up in hot take territory. So I'll just go over what happened and then my take. I already can imagine. I think I had a similar response to when the boxes got smaller and I got kind of dumped on also. Okay. And I okay. understand. We'll boxes. see if we're on the same page. So, so this new iPhone feature, iOS 16.3.1 added a toggle in the iPhone's battery health settings. And let me actually, oh, I'll, well, I'll pull up the video so we can all get it exactly right. But it's called clean energy charging. And what it does, and this is entirely us trusting Apple at this point, because I don't know how they do this, but it knows when you plug in, whether or not you are drawing from clean energy sources or not. And if it detects that you're in part of like some routine charging, like let's say you plug in at 11 p.m., it will wait until you are charging from cleaner energy sources to start your charge or speed up your charge. Um, when this does happen, you will get a notification and you can override it anytime you want. But the idea is this is a opt out feature, meaning it is mm -hmm. on by default flipped on for every iPhone in the US that just updated their software. So me by myself leaving this feature on is not going to meaningfully impact my carbon footprint. I charge, I drive an electric car, like me charging my phone at a slightly different time is not gonna matter. But Apple flipping the switch for every iPhone in the US collectively gives them something to brag about because they just took the equivalent of, you know, a million cars off the road or something crazy. I think they're gonna say probably at their next iPhone keynote what it did, but they get to say that we made this free change to the iPhone that made nobody's experience worse, theoretically, and saved a ton of the environment. And it's, like, it's just like a, a rare win for the environment coming from a mega company like Apple. So my take was, this is a good thing. <laughs> but when I made this <laughs> short, all the comments were, thanks for pointing this out. I turned it off immediately. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like, obviously people don't want their charging to slow down or, or be interrupted when it's inconvenient to them. But I mean, the idea is you don't even notice the features on, which I think is what Apple was planning on. I'm curious if you guys feel the same way. Yeah. So, I mean, there is a there's a thing that happens where if your phone is on the charger and it's not pulling from clean energy sources, it just won't charge. And it'll have a little thing that comes up that says, by the way, this is a dirty energy source. Uh, you can bypass this setting and just hit charge now. Mm -hmm. Um I want to see, like, tweet at us if you ever get that notification. Get this notification. Yeah. I'm really curious. I'm wondering what points of the night or the day your house or wherever you are is going to be pulling from dirty energy sources. And I, I would like to know this. I get a letter from, like, Con Edison, like, every month being like, you can pay a little bit more yeah. to make sure that you pull from clean energy sources more often. It costs a little bit more money, but your carbon footprint. Your conscience. Your conscience. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I think, like you said, one iPhone, especially in a phone that has, you know, like a 4,000 million hour battery, is not going to do much. Yeah. But... If you turn it on for like every single iPhone in the United States collectively, yeah. it will do something. Theoretically. And yeah. the interesting, the most interesting thing about this to me is that it was, it's opt out. Yeah, it's rare. It's very rare that companies will turn something on by default and you have to turn it off because usually that makes people really upset, especially think, when it affects their charging. Yeah. Apple knows nobody would have turned this on. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody totally. would have turned no this one. on. Yeah. So for them to go through all the R and D, which I suspect is a lot location. for them to like location based decide when your your energy is going to be cleanly sourced. I don't even know how they That's do that. That's one thing I want to know is like that feels very it's like there's it a lot feels... of companies who if they said that I'd be like, really? It might be EPA data. I would bet you that the EPA requires local energy providers to say what times they're providing clean energy and dirty energy. So GPA, mm -hmm. GPS based and then like time of day is yeah, probably like what's time of day. It. But it yeah. also depends on your on your provider too. Yeah. Like it's different for different providers. Also That's my house thing. is on solar. Yeah, if you're on so solar, do what they does know that mean? if you're on solar? Yeah, you're always I have no clean. idea. So, but clean. the idea is like uh, by them opting everyone into it, at least in the US for now, um, it is some level of a meaningful positive change. So I was, I was like, yeah, this is a good thing for them to add, which was turns out to be a hot take. People hate this. They hate this. So you single-handedly okay. <laughs> made a bunch of people 
Use dirtier energy. I, I mean, I put this video on uh, <laughs> YouTube Shorts. It's on TikTok. It has probably like five million views between those two. Five million. Lots iPhones of people turned it off. Turned off. <laughs> Lots yeah. of people turned it off. And I get it. Yeah, people sure. don't want that possibility of like any. It also kind of feels like guilting because the way they phrased it, it's like yeah. the iPhone will try to reduce your carbon footprint. Yeah. Which if they phrased know, it just a little yeah. different, like Apple would try to reduce iPhone's global. Yeah, carbon mm -hmm. footprint or something like that. Maybe it would have felt a little different, but it's like I don't need you trying to help my carbon footprint. I mean, that's that's what like the whole U.S. basically is in terms of like recycling and everything, right? It's like yeah. let's make the user think it's their right. fault when it's mega no, corporations the, the, that are totally the, the problem. The term carbon footprint was created by what Shell as like a <laughs> way to so. gaslight people into thinking <laughs> that global warming is their fault right. when like eighty five percent of global warming comes from like yeah. ten corporations or something. Yeah. I I will say. And and like, some random numbers it's around there it's pretty it's really bad yeah. <laughs> yeah but i'll say and this kind of can also loop back into when i made the, a similar comment to the reducing the size of boxes i ultimately thought it was a good thing i do think this is a good thing and i do think good things can happen even if apple's end goal isn't to be good there is incentive for them to do this mm -hmm. which like the boxes it was saving apple a ton of money right right we still got a beneficial environmental impact from them saving a ton of money yeah so there's definitely some incentive somewhere here i don't know what it is i don't know if it's so they can say they're net zero emissions or it can help their numbers on yeah. carbon emissions and stuff like that there's definitely tax breaks or whatever It'll or just like towards something exactly so it is in their interest to do this not in the world's interest but the world still benefits, benefits from right this. yeah which i'm okay it's similar to like People who donate a bunch of money on right. YouTube. It's effective like altruism. Something, yeah, kind of stuff. something good still happens. There may be an ulterior motive of it, but I don't care because something good happened and yeah. that may have not happened in that Yeah, I think most of the comments of people objecting to it were like, Apple, you could do so much more. You could source batteries yeah. better. You could do all these other things. But it also kind of feels like when like a billionaire donates to charity in a very public way, you're like, oh, I see what you're doing here. Mm -hmm. But you did also just, do a really good thing and enable a lot of things to be better about the yeah. world. So I guess I can't be mad. So it's yeah. a good thing. I'm right. happy it happened. I don't need to relentlessly applaud them for it. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll see. I, I, my bet and maybe we, I don't know. Do we have like a tally of like running bets of things? I do, I've, but I haven't been adding it to lately, okay. but I should. Well, somebody in the comments or on Twitter, keep an eye on this. I, I'm pretty sure they're going to in the next year say in an iPhone related keynote, what this I, I it's probably it up. tons of co2 removed from the environment or cars taken off the road yeah equivalent something yeah. like that i bet at wwdc maybe i mm -hmm. will that might say be a little too, too quick just looking it up one. just to like clarify how they're doing this mm -hmm. um all the sources i've been finding say that your iphone gets a forecast of the carbon emissions in your local energy grid and uses it to charge your phone during times of cleaner energy production meaning like off peak times yeah. So, like so your energy grid is probably power. not dependent on your provider. They're all pulling from the same grid, but yeah. using different providers. Mm. So the clean energy versus dirty energy is independent of your provider, maybe? I don't know enough maybe about this. Yeah. yeah, I don't know enough about this Yeah, to I, say definitively. Like when I wireless charge my phone in my car and my car is charging on a Tesla supercharger, what happens then? It, like yeah. I just, I don't know. Anyway. Dirty I think it's <laughs> it's going to change also a lot city by city because every city has a different relationship with different power suppliers yeah. and distributors. Yeah. And anyone who lives in Philadelphia knows endlessly like how complicated this is. Yeah. Yeah. New York just shut down a nuclear plant, which was like one of their last clean energy sources or something. And I don't know. Yeah. It's controversial. I don't know enough about it to have an opinion. Don't. Don't uh, cancel me. I'm counting. So stop canceling Marquez. <laughs> yeah. Start canceling David. <laughs> no, I'm counting this as a positive <laughs> switch flipped, which is rare in Apple land that we can all agree that Apple did something independently siloed that is great for the environment. So I'm just counting this as like a good thing. I'm just yeah. leaving it at that. One of the few things that is opt out that is actually yeah. probably That's good. actually To be maybe, fair, most opt out things are like really bad. Yeah. Like yeah, it's they rare. have to do opt out because no one in their right mind would ever put it. It's yeah. it's so rare that they add a feature even like with the iPhone when they added all these lock screen features and all this stuff with the new version of iOS, you have to find it. Yeah. Like they don't automatically start adding widgets to your like all this stuff that gets added to the, especially right. with Apple, they keep the yeah. iPhone so simple. Yeah. And so like if you want to find <laughs> something and add it, then you can do it, but 
everything will be in a setting for you to enable later. And the stuff that they do with batteries, which is there's this one thing that they already do, which is if you charge at the same time every day and you have an alarm for the next morning, it will not charge your phone all the way up right away. It'll charge to 80% and then wait until an hour before your alarm clock's gonna go off and then charge the last little bit because it doesn't wanna be at 100% all the time. Lots of good reasons for that. That's one of the rare things that it'll just start doing automatically. I just found it fascinating that that was like, I'm very curious like you, who's gonna get this notification? Yeah. And how many people will actually see it? And and we'll see. (laughs) Another, one more time. We'll see how this goes. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see how it pans we out. We need a sound effect for that. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to, we'll probably have a button on the on the uh, roadcaster. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> when I say metal, though, like, what's the name of it? I'm looking it up. Because it's I not like I'm, bronze, I'm Guardian, silver. Or I'm oh, Cruc- yeah, I mean, like, because if it's at a Delta... I'm either Guardian 5 or Crusader 1. <laughs> I was going to say, like, if it's the Delta E of less than 1 for perfect color accuracy, you'd be like, oh, so you can make sure that bronze badge on your, <laughs> your profile is perfect bronze. accuracy. Herald, baby. <laughs> Herald. <laughs> no, I'm immortal forever. Thanks for watching. That's why I sleep in the casket. <laughs>